Hello friends, in the previous videos we solved a number of initial value problems in ODE using various finite difference methods such as implicit and explicit Euler methods and other methods. In this video we are going to solve a boundary value problem in ODE using finite difference method. Let's consider a long thin metal rod which is 10, mil 10 meters long. One end of the rod is maintained at 40 degrees Celsius and the other end of the rod is maintained at 200 degrees Celsius. The ambient temperature is given as 20 degrees Celsius. The heat transfer coefficient H dash is equal to 0 0.01 1 over meter square. Our interest is to find the temperature profile in the rod with distance. So the differential equation for this boundary value problem is given as d square t over dx square plus h dash times t a minus t equals 0. Here t represents the temperature of the rod in degrees Celsius and t is a function of x. h dash is the heat transfer coefficient in 1 over meter square. Ta is the temperature of the surrounding air in degrees Celsius. The boundary conditions are T at 0 equals T1 and T at L equals T2. And these are also called Dirichlet boundary conditions. The, anal the analytical solution is obtained as shown below. Here T exact equals 73.4523 times exponential of 0 0.1 times x minus 53.4523 times exponential of negative 0 0.1 times x plus 20. We will solve this ODE problem, the boundary value problem, using finite difference method now. So the ODE is reproduced here, which is d square t over dx square plus h dash times t a minus t equals 0. We can represent d square t over dx square, the second derivative, in a finite difference form, which is equal to ti minus 1 minus 2 times ti plus ti plus 1 over delta x square. Here delta x represents the grid spacing. And this finite difference approximation can be obtained using Taylor series expansions. Now we substitute 2, equation 2 into equation 1 and arrange as shown below in equation 3. Now we rearrange in the form shown in equation 4. Now let us discretize the 1D domain into say 5 segments or grid spacings equally spaced as shown below. The temperatures at node 1 and node 6 are known and these are the boundary conditions. And we need to apply equation 4 to obtain the temperature profile at the interior nodes 2 to 5. And equation 4 is given here. Then I equals 2, for example, in equation 4, we have negative T1 plus 2 times 2 plus 2 plus H dash times delta X square times T2 minus T3 equals H dash times delta X square times TA. Similarly, for I equals 3, 4, and 5, we get the following equations as shown. T1 and T6 are non known boundary conditions. So we can move them to the right hand side of the equations. We rearrange the equations as shown below and then substitute the various values for the various parameters. We know H dash is equals 0 0.01 1 over meter square and delta x equals 10 over 5 which is equal to 2 meters 
T A equals 20 degrees Celsius and T1 equals 40 degrees Celsius and T6 equals 200 degrees Celsius. And we get the set of equations as shown below. The above equations can be arranged in a matrix form as shown here. And the above equations can be solved using algorithms such as Thomas algorithm as the matrix we are dealing with is a tri-diagonal matrix. We can also use iterative methods such as Gauss-Seidel, successive over relaxation or SOR methods, etc. So a tri-diagonal matrix in, is one in which we have non-zero values along the main diagonal and as well as either side of the main diagonal. The rest of the um, locations, we have zero values. So we, we will now go back and try to solve this using MATLAB. So this is the uh, boundary value problem in ODE and that is the equation for the ODE. The length is given as 10 meters and we have five sections and you calculate delta x equals 10 over x length over m or 10 over 5 equals which is equal to 2 meters and the boundary conditions are given here and the ambient temperature is also given here the exact solution can be calculated based on the uh, solution given and we use uh, uh, Thomas algorithm to solve the mat matrix. Now we run this um, at various grid points. We have the boundary conditions are 40 degrees Celsius at one end and 200 degrees Celsius at the other end. And the exact solution is given here these four interior points and the numerical value are shown here and we can look at this graphically we can also increase the number of grid spacings say to 50 and then rerun this case and we compare the results so in this case the numerical values shown as t1 and the analytical values shown as t exact they match very closely To summarize, um, we solved a boundary value ODE problem using um, finite difference method. We presented graphical results using MATLAB. So we can also vary the number of grid spacings and we can obtain the graphical results accordingly. So if you're interested, you may subscribe to my channel to watch a number of videos covering a wide variety of topics on numerical methods. Thanks for watching the video and if you have any questions, please post it. Bye for now. And I will be uploading the code onto your website and I will be providing some details in the YouTube section. Bye for now.